click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello guys, in this particular video we will learn the another numerical that is numerical number 3 which is based on DC analysis of BJT. This is also the example of fixed bias circuit but little bit different than that of your usual fixed bias circuit where we are applying different value for base as well as collector terminal. This is the circuit which is given for this numerical. 10 volt is applied to RB and 15 volt is applied to RC where it is connected to collector and base respectively. Emitter is directly grounded. Given is beta is equal to 100, RB is equal to 390K, RC is equal to 4.3K and now they ask us what is the value they are expecting. Find obviously one is Q point. Another is stability factor. Design the value of RE to get stability factor is equal to 80. So we are tending towards circuit to be more stable than that of earlier one that is this one. Now in this circuit no capacitors are applied so we'll directly go for the input KVL but while applying input KVL we'll have to go with the base potential that is 10 volt. We will say that this is loop A and this is loop B. So for loop A we are applying KVL. We will say this is VBB which is of 10 volt minus IB into RB minus VBE is equal to 0. We can easily find out the value of IBQ is equal to VBB minus VBE divided by RB is equal to. So value is coming out to be 0. Again, we'll move for the value of IC Q that is nothing but 2.384 milliampere. This time multiplying with 100 that is value of beta. We'll move for application of KVL at output loop B. When we'll start for the output KVL, see this fact, I am applying plus 15 volts, not 10 volt here. So 15 volts minus ICRC minus VCEQ is equal to zero. I know the value of ICQ that is 2.384 milliampere multiplied by RC which is given as 4.3 kilo. So we will be getting the value of VCEQ directly it will coming out to be 4.75 volts. We will treat this as equation number 1 and we will treat this as equation number 2 from where we will be getting the value of Q point. Now another part which they are expecting is stability factor. We will write the given circuit is fixed bias. So obviously we will directly put the value of stability factor for fixed bias without emitter resistance and that's value is Yes, it's a 1 plus beta, right. So the given circuit is fixed bias without RE and we can easily say that stability factor
s is equal to 1 plus beta and beta is equal to 100 so stability factor s is equal to 101 that is the second requirement right and we'll have to move for the third requirement rather design so we'll have to calculate the value of re such that it will meet the specification of the customer requirement that is stability factor should be 80 right so we will write for the third requirement this is the second requirement So that it will meet the required specification for the customer requirement which is nothing but the stability factor 80. So we will insert the resistance RE to reduce the value of stability factor. After inserting the value RE, we will be having different value for stability factor that is s is equal to 1 plus beta times 1 plus beta into r e upon r b plus r e as s is equal to 80 we'll put the value of s is equal to 80 1 plus beta beta is equal to 100 this is 100 and we can easily get the value of Re once we have the value of Rb. This value of Re is coming out to be 1.026 kilo ohm. Right? So to have the stability factor near about 80, I have to insert the value of resistance Re is equal to 1 kilo ohm, I can say. So as far as design is concerned, the value of Re should be such that it should have particular standard value is near to this value near to this value obviously standard value includes the value 1 kilo ohm okay 1 kilo ohm with 0 0.25 watt ratings of power so this is the requirement of the resistance re to meet the specification of the stability factor is equal to 80. So this is how we have solved the third aspect of this numerical, right? Now we'll have to move towards the next numerical in the next video, right? So thank you so much for watching this particular video. We'll have to learn more and more ADC along with me, along with Ikeda videos. Don't forget to subscribe this channel and comment on this video. Thank you.